Good morning, uh, Chris Rogers, I'm the CEO of Scientec. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about backup. We've heard that certainly during the first half of 2021, we're going to have more load shedding. I think that we, load shedding is going to be a permanent thing, you know, in, in peaks and starts uh, over, over the next number of years. Uh, and uh, even the uh, CEO of Eskom says that that is a fact. So I think uh, to have a backup system, even if it's a small one, just to keep your essential loads, uh, which is the things that you deem necessary uh, running, usually for a period of four hours is, is, is a good idea. Um, so what I wanted to offer today is a integrated system. So there's a lot of portable systems out there. We have a bunch ourselves, um, but I wanted to offer a integrated system. So a system that has that fits into your, your home, adjacent to your DB board normally, uh, usually in your garage, where you have a inverter and a battery box, and it's all automatic. It switches over in 15 milliseconds, so your DSTV decoder doesn't even reboot in that time. It doesn't know that the power actually went off. So it's, a, it's actually a little disconcerting because you don't know when there's load shedding if you're watching TV. Um, so the system I want to talk about today is a two kilowatt uh, system with 200 amp hour batteries uh, which is really almost our lowest entry level uh, 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 backup system and I'll just step a little bit out of the shot and show you what I'm talking about this is the inverter uh, it's a TBB uh, energy uh, 2 kilowatt inverter it has a charger an 80 amp charger inside of it as well a very solid well built product has a big toroid transformer in it which is great for dealing with uh, issues that we have on the on the Eskom network you'll find some of the, uh, the transformerless inverters are very sensitive to the spikes and the, uh, the unclean power that we have uh, on our on our grid um, this is much more tolerant of that sort of stuff so it's a it's a very high quality high quality inverter along with that inverter the other principal part of the system is the batteries. So the batteries live inside this battery cabinet, um, which you can hear is, uh, is sheet metal, uh, which is a good safety thing and I think will probably become a legal requirement in years to come. And then that is, that is one of the batteries, there's another one inside still. So this is an AGM gel battery, deep cycle battery. So typically 1,500 to 2,000 cycles. So as you can imagine, if it's properly installed and properly charged all the time, these batteries should last a really long time. Um, of course, if you mismanage them and uh, switch off the inverter and don't allow it to charge the batteries, uh, then you're going to have a problem uh, and the batteries will not last at all. So if the batteries are properly managed uh, and there's proper temperature control, which this inverter incorporates, uh, the batteries will last a long time. It's another thing that the high frequency or transformless inverters don't have is things like temperature control. So that means that they can allow the batteries to overcharge. Uh, and AGM gel batteries are particularly sensitive to that. They're great, they last very long if you manage them properly. But if you abuse them with cheap inverters, uh, you're gonna have a problem. Um, so that's the AGM, AGM gel battery that comes in the system. We've sold some 60,000 of them. Uh, in the last uh, three and a half years uh, and has proven to be a, a fantastic product. Obviously to connect this all together you need some cable that connects into the uh, from the inverter to the battery box and off to the DB board. That DB board connection has to be done by a qualified electrician. Um, then you obviously need adequate fusing. We've seen a lot of systems go out there without any fusing, uh, extremely irresponsible, and uh, we certainly would not ever um, entertain something like that. Uh, the battery links as well, so the batteries have to be connected together. The battery links come made up with the lugs and everything on it. So literally, it's a fairly quick uh, kind of three hour job to install one of these. What you could also do is for some 2,800 Rand more, um, uh, you could add uh, another battery uh, and a bigger battery box, or for about 
4,800, you could add another two batteries. So what this will give you in a two battery configuration is it'll give you 250 watts per hour backup. Now, if you look at your television, it's usually about 100 watts. Um, your decoder is kind of 30, 40 watts. Uh, these things are not stable, so they, they have high and low demands. Um, so those things will certainly not uh, put a strain on a system like that. You could add a fridge as well. Um, you could add uh, an alarm system. So those sorts of things can be backed up on a system like this. If you discovered that actually you wanted, you had more things, maybe you have an electric fence, uh, maybe you want to have a lot of lights in the house because you have small children. And I would recommend that you go for LED globes because they are very low wattage, which means you've got more, you can have more of them. So um, you can certainly uh, expand the system. So you could have a bigger battery box with four batteries. They'll give you 500 watts, which gives you a lot more uh, storage capacity. However, what you do need to be careful of is it's a two kilowatt inverter. So any given moment in time, you do not want to be drawing through the system much more than 2000 watts. Um, so that's a limitation uh, in terms of the inverter capacity. Uh, in terms of expanding it, if you want to expand it, you need to do that within a window of about three to six months from when you first install the system because lead acid batteries do not like uh, having dissimilar age battery, batteries uh, uh, associated with them. So the old might pull down the new and then you end up with four damaged batteries, which is always very, very annoying. So uh, kind of great if you can do it from the outset and say, I would rather like to have the additional four batteries um, and uh, we, can, we can certainly do that for you from the, from the outset.